This is Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Hakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and to you sincere listeners. So I'm going to read this again. This is Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings. And, you know, <clears throat> this is what Esau Edom has, you know, uh, perpetuated throughout his time in rulership. He's been dealing unrighteously. There is no righteous deed that this man has committed since he's been in power. It says because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, he's sown murder, you know, a, a rape and robbery throughout the four corners of the earth. And riches got by deceit, his thievery. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's what you see going on down here upon the earth currently at this moment. You see the kingdom of Esau Edom being translated and the individuals that it is being translated to is the nation of Israel. You know, and, and one of the main things I wanted to highlight, you know, uh, in this video concerning uh, the kingdom being translated, you know, to bring out an example of that is, you know, the mindset of these people uh, changing, you know, and one of the main, you know, uh, thing that are changing these people's uh, mind, you know, shifting their way of thinking is, you know, this whole uh, manosphere uh, movement, you know. Which is kind of like a break off from, you know, uh, the whole uh, MGTOW thing. But look at who is spearheading this thing. It's Jake, you know, uh, so-called Negroes, uh, Latinos and Native Americans. And they're changing, you know, the way people view this society, man. They're having people look at feminism and they're uh, rejecting it. They see that there's something wrong with this. OK, now, you notice it's not an Edomite that's, that's you know, really at the spearhead of this thing. You know, it ain't no Japhite, it's not a, a, a Hamite, you know, Ham is not uh, in there. They're not heavily, uh, they're not heavy influencers, okay? Because the kingdom is being translated from Esau, Edom to the nation of Israel, all right? That's why you see Jake uh, spearheading this thing and why so many people are attracted to it, okay? Because the next rulers of this earth are the ones that are spearheading this movement. And they're tearing down the ideology of Esau Edom, which is feminism. Okay? And it doesn't work, man. Feminism does not work. It doesn't work for the, the, the woman and it doesn't work for the man. And it doesn't work for the children. Nor does it work for society as a whole. Okay? So these things are being revealed and it all goes back to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because a few years ago, you wouldn't see things like this being spoken about, you know, uh, on YouTube. Okay? You wouldn't see, you know, uh, different individuals uh, rising up and speaking about these things. OK, and the first ones, you know, to really call this thing out were the Israelites. OK, beginning first and foremost with the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. They were the, the first ones to put that sentiment out there about these women being out of order. OK, and now that spirit has latched on to uh, other individuals, whether they are, uh, you know, aware of it or not. OK. We still know the origins of that spirit, okay? But you see this 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 uh, idea moving throughout the earth, man. Okay, I'm gonna read this again. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So I want to look this word uh, translate up. Which well, this is from uh, the Adam Online. Uh, translate uh, is a verb from the early 14th century. To remove from one place to another And that's what you see going on The kingdom is being moved from the hands of Esau Edom Into the hands of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans All right, And like I, I mentioned earlier One of the main components of you having a kingdom Is having influence over the minds of the people Esau is losing that, man Okay? And you can see it with, you know, uh, the manosphere You know, uh, 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 blowing up Okay? And notice that it wasn't anything that uh, Esau Edom came up with that that MGTOW stuff, which if you go, you know, heavy into that, it's complete madness, man. And that's a brainchild of Esau Edom. You know, one of the things, uh, you know, if you go heavy into, 
uh, MGTOW, one of the things they promote is, you know, men uh, getting snipped, basically neutering yourself, you know, so you don't get caught up in, you know, uh, the child support system and all this, this, you know, uh, uh, things that are going on out here. Another thing they said, you know, ship women to an island somewhere <laughs> and only deal with them. You know, if you you, you need to, uh, you know, get your rocks off. OK, but see, that's the mind of Esau Edom. OK, but the things that are coming from, you know, uh, Jake is basically that these women need to get in order, man. OK, not only do the, the women need to get in order, but the men need to get in order, too. And that's the, the uh, you know, <clears throat> that's one of the things we promote. All right. And getting in order is not according to the standard of what Esau Edom is pushing. You know, uh, you get a high level job in this place. You go to college. We're not we're not talking about that. OK, you get in order by getting down with the standard that you have by how shy established. OK, you, uh, uh, you know, joining yourself unto the righteous ways of you have by how shy. All right. So it says to remove from one place to another. To turn from one language to another from the old French uh, translator and directly from the Latin uh, translatus carried over. And that's what's happening. The kingdom is being carried over to the nation of Israel. OK, and you can see through the influence of different ideas that are going out, man. OK, Jake's at the spearhead of it. and this all goes back to the spirit that Yahabashim Yahabashai had his servants uh, send out. All right. It says carried over serving as a past particle uh, transfer to bring over carry over. OK, trans means across or beyond and lattice means born or carried. So to carry across. OK, or carry beyond the, the kingdom is being carried beyond the grip of Esau Edom and is being placed into the hands of the nation of Israel. All right. So uh, Sirach 10 and 8 again, it says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So because of your unrighteous dealings, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is taking your kingdom away from you. OK, and the kingdom is being given to people that are going to, you know, uh, bring order to the earth. All right. Now, we know and understand that these individuals that are set up, you know, on these different uh, podcasts, they don't have the truth. OK. But some of the things that they are saying are according to the scriptures. Okay, and ultimately, Yahabashim Yahawashai will establish his standard through his servants down here upon the earth. So eventually the whole truth is gonna come out and the the you know the true servants of Yahabashim Yahawashai will be exalted and put in control over maintaining that authority down here upon the earth, maintaining that way. This is uh Sirach 10 and 4 it says the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahawashai. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And the ways of Esau Edom are being found out to be unprofitable, man. So things have to change. Okay. You, the, this world, this society cannot continue to go on like this or it's going to be completely destroyed, man. So there has to be a shifting in the way people think about certain things. They're all this madness that Esau Edom has come up with has to be erased, man. Okay. And a new way of thinking has to be adopted if these people want to continue on. Okay, what's that way of thinking is coming from, you know, the scriptures. All right. Because that's what you see, you know, pretty much being pushed <clears throat> to a certain extent, you know, not completely. All right, because these uh, individuals, they are in the world. Okay. But some of the premises that they are pushing all do coincide with the scriptures. Okay, which that spirit comes from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai sending his servants out on the highways and hedges. Okay, to you know pretty much destroy what Esau Edom has established. Okay, his ideologies are being completely destroyed and consumed by Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in the words of the scriptures. This is Isaiah 25 and 7. It says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. So that, you know, BS, okay, that Esau Edom has, you know, pushed throughout the four corners of the earth, that cup that was passed to all these nations, which was full of the philosophies of Babylon. The nations are, you know, uh, uh, basically waking up from that, that drunken, uh, uh, stupor, man. Okay. From that drunken state, they're, they're waking up. And the reason why they're waking up 
is because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have sent forth his spirit of truth throughout the four corners of the earth, which is another indication that Esau Edom, his, his kingdom is fallen, man. All right, it says, and he will destroy in this mountain, okay, America, which mountains represents governments, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all the people, Esau's philosophies, man. They're being destroyed, okay? And the number one destroyer of the philosophies of Esau Edom is the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, and the veil that is spread over all nations. So that veil is being lifted, man. Okay, people are, are, are waking up to the fact that things cannot continue to go on the way that they're going. All right? It's something wrong out here, man. And what's what's wrong? The, the philosophies of Esau Edom. Okay? Something superior has to be established down here. All right? Which well, that's what you see going on, you know, with this whole, uh, you know, uh, manosphere uh, movement. All right? And like I mentioned earlier, notice that it wasn't, you know, this uh, MGTOW thing that kicked off. You know, that's not the thing that's really being uh, pushed right now. Even though, you know, a lot of people attach to that, but <clears throat> that's not what's being uh, spearheaded. All right? This is uh, 2 Corinthians 10, and I'll start at 3. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. And that's what we've been doing, doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh. When you look this word uh, stronghold up, it's, you know, uh, the thing that somebody uses, you know, uh, uh, for their argument to stand upon. Their, their reasoning, the reasoning that they use to uphold their uh, opinions about certain things. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh, we've been destroying these strongholds that Esau Edom has established. Okay, the reason, the reasoning uh, for, uh, you know, uh, so-called women's lib, you know, the reasonings behind that, it, it, it does not uh, work, man. Okay, this, this I ideology cannot uh, uh, be something that prevails down here upon earth because look what it does. It destroys societies, man. Okay, so through the spirit and power, how about Shemi Yahweh Shai, that's just one of the things that we've attacked. Okay, and, and overthrew. All right, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high. And every philosophy that Esau Edom has exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because this man is completely contrary to the scriptures. It says, in bringing into captivity, Every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach And that's what you see going on down here upon the earth Okay, people's minds are beginning to change, man Alright, and that's all due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Sending forth his servants Okay, and pushing that spirit out throughout the four corners of the earth, man Via the YouTube and the internet Alright So you can literally see the kingdom being translated Towards the nation of Israel all right, because like I mentioned earlier, you see who's the spearhead of these different, uh, you know, uh, 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 the 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 whole uh, mental sphere thing, man. All right, who's the one that's you know changing the minds of these people out here? Okay, and we all know and understand where these uh you know ideologies really came from. Okay, the first individuals really to, to speak about the woman and get on a woman was the, the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. And like I said, whether these people choose to acknowledge it or not, what they're doing comes from the, the service of the Heavenly Father. All right. So we know where this all goes back to. This is Second uh, Thessalonians 2. And let's see, I'm going to just jump to the point. Second Thessalonians 2 and 7, it says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he whom thou letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. So the only reason why this man is still in power is because the Heavenly Father still has a purpose for this devil. All right? It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed. And he's being revealed right now. It's, 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 it's being shown that his way does not work. The things that he, have, he has pushed down here upon the earth, they don't work. His philosophies don't work. 
Okay? It throws everything into chaos, man. And you're going to continue to see his philosophies being questioned and challenged, man. Okay? You're going to see uh, different uh, ideas continue to prevail over what's been uh, established down here in this society. All right? It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And that's the reason why you see men beginning to stand up. All right? Because that's the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. To see men taking back their manhood, all right? That's the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, working in the earth. And this is all a result of the Heavenly Father sending forth his prophets and pushing that spirit out there, man. Okay? You wouldn't hear individuals talking like this back in the day. You know, hell, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, 30 years ago, you didn't see men uh, standing up like this, that, that, you know, bitch made spirit prevailed amongst men down here, especially in Babylon the Great. Okay. And then who's the one that's pushing forth that, that, that manly spirit? Who's the, who's the spearhead of it publicly? They're Israelites, you know, so-called uh, uh, Negroes. All right. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's the way this man is going to be destroyed. Via those thermonuclear missiles and the chariots of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Hakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Shalom.